Oh, then we see Bailey versus Charlotte Flair. And, you know, I want to give a shout out to Charlotte for her gear, but I also want to be like, <laughs> your queen is still trying to be Becky, LOL. Before the match, she calls out Bailey. And she's like, what happened to you? You are one of the four horsewomen. Now you're just, you know, you're content with being EO sidekick. Blah, 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 blah. Um, And she says that she is the measuring stick. And when she wins this match, she will be challenging EO Sky for the championship at Fastlane. And I was like, why? Did Adam Pierce make this official? Yeah, it's already it's already made into a fast lane graphic. So no, no, I mean I I, I was oh. reacting to oh sorry her. yeah who Did she make who, it official who made this order <laughs> <laughs> who gave that order yeah exactly who gave <laughs> that order it's it's, it's messed up so it's what I thought thing. was more messed up I guess was that this wasn't even a long match. It was all just to get Charlotte on the fast lane card, apparently. Uh Um, And then damage control surround the ring, and they're about to go in on Charlotte. But Asuka comes to save the day for some reason, because it's just, I guess she's a good, she's a baby face again. I have no idea. I don't know. And then she goes on and it's like, oh, she wants a triple threat. So Bailey accepts the challenge. And then it's like, okay, so you could tell immediately Dakota and EO were like, what the fuck did you just do, Bailey? Like, what? Because why? Why are you accepting matches on behalf of EO when she's right there? Also, why do we need another triple threat for the title? Why? And why uh, is Charlotte in this match? Charlotte needs to relax in the championship with the championship. Like, it's okay. What if, hear me out, hear me the fuck out. What if this is when Jade, this is when Jade makes her appearance and comes at Charlotte and costs Charlotte the match? You get dick girl. All you do is go after the championship. You don't do anything but that. Oh, when we got people like myself trying to make a name for her, I bet like you could do that. You could go I mean, away maybe. like that. Because this is a thing that I feel like people don't talk about enough. Like, people just say, are like, oh, she's always in the title picture, whatever, but she deserves to be because she's the best. Okay, that's fine. But then when you complain about, you know, like, if we want to talk about when the titles were bouncing, the title was bouncing around, you know, it was like Char- Sasha, Charlotte, Becky, whatever. It was like the same people. You can't complain about the same people having the title if you're then excusing Charlotte. Charlotte has never had a legit storyline that did not involve the championship. That's a problem because Becky does it. Bailey does it. All of the other girls do it. Why is Charlotte on this pedestal that it's like, oh, it's beneath her to do anything in WWE if it doesn't involve the championship? Like, that's a problem. I don't I don't understand it. Like, I don't get it at all. I think that what does that say about Charlotte? Can she not be convincing enough in a, in a in a feud that doesn't involve the title or what are they trying to do because i don't i don't understand how they can sit there and write her in to every storyline with the title and not have like this thought like oh wait why why is she here again because why is she here again like why are you here you just lost this match at SummerSlam. like i don't understand like you didn't even win before eo cashed in it's just annoying. 